Okay, here we are at our location. We are overlooking Salt Lake City at Faultline Gardens. We're going to be doing a panoramic shot of Salt Lake City and then we're going to compile it together in Photoshop. Last time we did an HDR image, so this time we're going to do a panoramic, but it will also be an HDR panoramic. So what I need to do first is I need to set up my panoramic settings. So I'm going to go into the menu here, choose Expo Comp AEB. I'm just going to keep it in the center. I already set up my exposure to where I want it. I'm only going to do three pictures, and I click menu, and then I'm ready to go. Um, I'm also recording the video on the camera so that you guys can see how I select w where I'm going to pan the, the camera. So first thing you need to do when you're setting up your shot is you need to figure out where you're going to be shooting. So I'm going to start from here and I'm going to go to the state capitol which is just over there. And you want to make sure that you don't have anything in your, in your fore foreground to block your image. I have this pole here that I'm going to have to remove in Photoshop before I stick all this stuff together. So we're going we're gonna to start taking our pictures. Um, it should take three consecutive so shots and then stop on each pause and, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the pictures and then once I'm completed, we'll meet back in, in Photoshop. You need to select a, a location that's on the far right hand side that you can move to the far left but keep within the frame because you're going to retake that shot so that you can connect your pictures later. Okay, so that should be it. Um, however, this, this shot right here is going to cause a problem. So what I, what I need to do is take a picture of what's exactly on the other side of, of, the, uh, of the pole. So in order to replace that, I'm going to just scoot over a couple feet to the left. That should be enough to replace the pole. And I'll just take one more picture here. Okay, now we're ready to go to Photoshop. Here we are back in the studio. I've already compiled my HDR images. If you're not familiar with how to create those, please consult these videos. The first thing we need to do from here is to get rid of the pole in the field of view from the shots we took. It'll take a little manipulating, so bear with me. First, I need to open the images in Photoshop. Then, we need to layer them in the same project. Next, we make sure the image on top is the one we're overlapping the pole with, and that it is aligned with the bottom image. Then, we need to create a mask and blend the images together. You might notice the picture we took does not cover the entire pole, which means we're going to have to get creative here. So I'm going to create a new layer, grab the dark and the light colors of the sky with my color picker, then using the gradient tool we can mimic the sky by stretching it out and blending it in until the entire pole is covered. Okay, that looks good. Now let's merge the layers and save it out. Okay, now we're ready to make a panorama. Go to File, Automate, then Photo Merge. 
This will open a window with several settings on how you can merge your photos. Over on the left you'll see Auto Selected. Now go to Browse and find your images. You want to have the first photo you shot at the top and then going down sequentially in order. Once they're in order, click OK. From here, Photoshop will compile your panorama. It'll take a while, so I'm going to skip ahead to that point. Here we are with our panorama. From here, you're going to want to remove the edges and give the image some final touches. Thank you for joining me. I'm Steven Streeter.